Hi viewers, welcome to LMA solution. Today we are going to see about hybrid PO, PSO, MPPT for solar PV system. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for further notification about upcoming videos. So this is a configuration of hybrid PO PSO MPVT for solar PV system. So this hybrid PO PSO MPVT is can be used to for uh, extracting the maximum power during power fill shedding condition and the normal irradiation condition. So here you can see that this one uh, is a solar panel. There are three solar panel is connected in series to in order to implement that partial shedding effect. So each panel receive the irradiation. So we can change the irradiation here for in each panel in order to implement that uh, partial shedding effect. And then this panel is connected with boost converter. This boost converter is going to be controlled by means of hybrid PO PSO MBPT. So, what's the need of uh, going for PO PSO MBPT? Uh, when you are going to implement uh, PO MBPT for uh, uh, partial shaded uh, solar PV system, so PO normally find it only. Uh, first uh, local maximum after that it never uh, find out the global maximum power point so this is a problem in the PO MPPT algorithm and uh, what's the problem in the PSO MPPT algorithm that means uh, PSO is a particle swarm optimization uh, that means it's normally based upon population based that means we are giving a, a random population in order to get the global uh, solution right if that the number of population very high means uh, uh, the that process of uh, finding that global point is take more time so it is a problem in the pso so in order to overcome this problem so we can combine that uh, po and pso here that means when combining and po pso so it will be solve the problem of uh, po mbpt as well as po mbpt that means it can uh, find the global maximum point with the uh, quickly okay so for that purpose only here we go for hybrid po pso mbpt so the, here po pso mbpt receive two input so one is is uh, pv panel voltage so another one is pv panel current okay so based upon this pv panel and the pv panel voltage and current so it won't be generated duty cycle. So this duty cycle won't be processed via uh, pedulum generator. So this pedulum generator generates the pulse for that uh, IGBT of that MOSFET. Okay. So sorry, uh, pulse for that IGBT in the boost converter. Okay. So it won't be control the power flow in the boost converter, not to extract the maximum power under partial shading condition as well as normal irradiation condition okay so this model can be operated in three mode that mean uh, one is hybrid po and pso mbpt mode and uh, pso mbpt mode and po mode so for that here we are providing that uh, selection uh, block nothing but constant block when you are going to type zero here so it will be operated at a hybrid po pso mbpt when you are to type ps uh, that mean type uh, one here, then it will going to be operated at the PSO MBPT, and when you go to type two here, so it will be operated at PO MBPT algorithm. Okay. So what's the block inside that hybrid PO PSO MBPT? So we'll see next. So this is the block inside that. Uh, hybrid PO PSO MBPT. So this is uh, PSO MBPT algorithm for maximum power point tracking algorithm. 
so this is py mpp diagram for maximum tracking maximum power point tracking algorithm so here we are going to combine both po and poso right so here we are providing uh, two switch uh, selection switch so it going to be select the configuration that mean uh, whether you want to operate this uh, solar pv system with uh, uh, hybrid PO, PSO, MBPT or uh, PO, MBPT or uh, PSO, MBPT. So, according with the selection logic, so it will be operated. Okay. So, it received two input already set right voltage and uh, current of the PV panel. So, based upon that, it will be generated the duty cycle. Okay. In order to control the IGPT of the bus converter, in order to extract the maximum power or in order to extract the uh, move that uh, PV panel maximum power at the global point. Okay. So, this is a block inside that. Uh, MBPT. Okay. So, next we go, go to simulation part. So, this is a simulation we have created for that uh, hybrid PO PSO MBPT. So, first I am going to go inside the PV panel. Okay. So, it should have three PV cells okay so that means total 60 cells in the PV system solar PV system that mean the first one is for 1 to 20 and then next one is for 21 to 40 cells and third one is 41 to 60 cells so total rating of the system will be 250 watts okay so here uh, here we are we are maintaining temperature 25 degree Celsius and then uh, here we can change the radiation or to create that uh, partial shedding effect and here we are going to measure that uh, current of the PV panel and the voltage of the PV panel so this uh, current and voltage of the PV panel is given to that uh, MPPT algorithm in order to generate the duty cycle for that boost converter to extract the maximum power point at the uh, global okay so this is inside the solar PV system. So next, already we uh, I told right that mean uh, uh, what's the block inside the hybrid P1 PSO. So it contain a PSO MBPT algorithm, P1 MBPT algorithm. So here we are going to combine both in order to achieve the um, quick response as well as uh, meet the global point quickly uh, and also you can select the PSO and P1 hybrid uh, option by using this select a switch okay so these are the block inside that uh, inside in the hybrid PO and PSO MPPT and this is nothing but boost converter so boost converter is operated along with the MPPT to not to extract the uh, maximum power okay and also you can see that uh, there are three scope right so this is for uh, power uh, to measure the pv panel power as well as output of that uh, that mean load power and then uh, so this scope going to be used to for uh, measure the pv panel voltage and then uh, load voltage and then uh, this scope is to for uh, measure the pv current and uh, load current okay so first initially i am going to make uh, the irradiation for all panel equal to 1000 watts per meter square next you have to check the condition here i, I am making a selection of mbbd is zero okay and then we have to check the result of power i am going to simulate this one Yeah, you can see here see it reaches to maximum power point okay you can see that it reaches to maximum power point condition that means when the irradiation thousand watts per meter square in the on all cells right that means it uh, about 250 watts okay it's reaches, it reaches to uh, maximum point okay so next i'm going to change the selection equal to one okay after the name 
I'm going to simulate this same system. So we will get some difference. Now we can see that when uh, systems operate in hybrid POPSO, it will be reach quickly, right? So it is like that you will get, okay? But when you have to operate the system with the POSO, it will take some time to reach the maximum point. So, so this is the difference between hybrid PO and PO. So next time you have to operate the same system with the PO. Now we can see the response of PO and BBT. So it will take also take some time to reach the maximum point under normal irradiation condition. That means thousand watts per meter square. So here you can see that it will reach uh, around the, the maximum point maximum point at uh, one point three second, right? Uh, when we got to operate this system with the PSO. We will check the tracking time. Yeah, it will take uh, one point two second to reach. Okay, so when I am going to operate the same system with the hybrid POPSO. It will reach at the point eight seconds, right? So when comparing uh, hybrid PO PSO MUD with the PSO PO, so it will track uh, maximum point quickly when compared to PO and PSO. Okay, so this is uh, advantages of uh, hybrid PO and PSO MPPT. So next you have to check the same response for a partial shading condition. So for that I'm going to make uh, irradiation for the second cell equal to 600. And then uh, for that will be 300. Okay. So in this case, uh, the maximum point is around uh, 113 watts. Okay. So we will check the same logic uh, one by one. So first I'm going to use uh, PO MPPT and simulate the model note after simulating this model we we'll, we need to note the tracking time we keep on uh, extracting the maximum power that mean tracking the maximum power point okay so here you can see that uh, it will be settled at uh, like 1.3 seconds okay so next time i'm going to change that uh, mbpt to pso so we will check the tracking time for that global point Yeah, it will reach around uh, 1.1 second, right? He also will be extract the maximum power to 1.1 seconds, and also it will take some you know, take the time to track the global point. So next time I'm going to change to hybrid PO PSO MPPT. Next you have to check the tracking time. So it will track at the point eight second, right? At the maximum point. 
so when compared to hybrid uh, hybrid pure pure so uh, can track the global maximum point quickly than pure so and pymbpj so this is uh, advantages of this hybrid p1 pso mbpt so thank you for watching our videos and also this model can be uh, downloaded uh, in the official website of lama solution so this is the official website of lama solution okay you can go, go to this website and then if you want to download this model you go to download matlab file and then click this one hybrid POPS and BPT. Okay, so in this website, you can download this model. So, thank you for watching uh, videos and also subscribe our uh, channel. Okay, thank you, thank you so much.